So it is March 14th, 2022, and I had proceeded by including the extra teaspoon approximately worth of the freeze-dried non-decaffeinated fair trade organic coffee that I got here. That's a block bag. So. And now I have to include about half a level teaspoon worth of this licorice root powder. And Pour some in the palm of my hands here. Oh, look at that. Well, more than I wanted to do. It's like time. I'll put half the amount that's in my hand here in the glass. Or about half a level teaspoon worth. It's good. Let me pour the rest out. I used to consume all that, you know. I used to, but I, I don't want to do that today because I'm trying to see if just that amount as a supplement, you know, will do the job just like the candy usually does. Usually it, does, it has worked a number of times. You know how some people, they, you know, who are like, they become hypoglycemic and they need that, let's say a little bit of sugar from fruit or something to feel better. Well, this is a different type of um, thing that I receive benefits from consuming uh, the vegan licorice candy. And well, this does the same thing, basically. So. It reduces the sugars, I believe, the, the glycemic index. Just by inhaling it helps. When I when I breathe it in just now, I noticed that it helping. Now one morning my mother wasn't feeling well. She sometimes gets uh, a little nauseous sometimes or a sense of nausea she takes uh anti-dizzy medicine or something like that or vertigo medicine i'm not sure exactly what a, what type it is but or for what condition but it has to do it causes it's supposed to reverse or reduce the symptom those type of symptoms and uh sometimes she continues to not feel you know um she gets a bit na nauseous sometimes. So, um, one, one, I've done this more than once and it's worked with me in the morning where if I felt like stomach upset or something, I citrus juiced, um, mandarin oranges in a glass and I just let it sit by her desk near her bed. This was like a week ago or so. And, uh, just by her inhaling the citrus in the air, she received the vitamin B6 through the air and it reduced her nausea. And that, that's worked more than once. Where I notice if I drink it, it's almost instantaneously that it reduces that type of um the type of issue if whenever that may happen, if I like get up too fast or if, if I have like if it's like a you know when there's a change in temperature and then the body takes some time to adjust and may cause a little nausea sometimes well I noticed one morning when I wasn't feeling well like that I was having like a hot flash or something and I had some of the mandarin orange drink I said you know I was able to citrus juice it fast enough and drink it and it works instantaneously with me. So I, I knew that just by putting it in her bedroom that over time her breathing in, just like when I breathe it in, when I'm citrus juicing it, I notice I receive uh, beneficial results from it, that method too, as a, you know, just like the licorice root powder in the air just now, you know. Um, now, what was I gonna say here? God. Oh. There is, because I do know, I have from reading, 
not only does um, vitamin B6 help with metabolism, you know, the, but it also helps with other conditions regarding, let's say, um, those who have symptoms of seizures and things like that. I had HPPD 20 years ago for seven months straight. So that's similar to uh, having an HPPD flashback is similar to like a s epileptic seizure where everything becomes like, uh, you know, shaky. And then uh, it can cause uh, a bit of like a loop in the head, you know, Just one can get stuck in like a, you know, uh, some type of short circuiting. I don't know exactly the, you know, the hardcore science behind all that, but yeah, the neurotransmitters go get out of whack with the HPPD flashback that um, I would have had 20 years ago. So, I mean, vitamin B6 helps those with epileptic seizures and things like that. It could also be beneficial for those who have probably hallucinogenic persisting perceptual disorder years later because they may have developed another condition that may have um, been the end result to having symptoms of HPPD for several months due to stress and that is called cryptopyroluria or I mean no 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 it's called pyroluria where cryptopyrals are bound to vitamin B6 and zinc within one's body and are overly eliminated from one's body, causing a deficiency in vitamin B6 and zinc where it has to be replenished. And if it doesn't get replenished, they have symptoms of, let's say, HPPD and things like that, where that's where I'm assuming with the people with epileptic seizures, they may end up with pyroluria. And that's uh, something in the medical journals of those who practice orthomolecular medicine, where it, the conventional, you know, Western medicines may not, uh, they may have forgotten about orthomolecular medicine and what is in those medical journals as a result of, let's say, people being under a lot of stress and how cryptopyrals in their body bind to vitamin B6 and zinc, where there's also a link between that and um, those who have used uh, hallucinogens that, you know, after they've taken them, the same type of condition develops and they have, let's say, HPPD for seven months, similar to people with um, epilep epilepsy or epileptic seizures. And so, but if you look up uh, vitamin B6 and um, reducing symptoms of seizures or epileptic um, attacks and things like that, it's supposed to help, um, you know, uh, reduce those symptoms or, you know, reverse or replenish the body with those nutrients because of the stress that um, one had um, went through after having those seizures, it, their body produced cryptopyrals that bound to vitamin B6 and zinc. And then, you know, so they may have pyroluria and they may not know it, but they are told to replenish with vitamin B6 and zinc. So, so it's basically the same thing in a way. All right. So now I want to include about, um, Approximately three level tablespoons worth of this raw vegan cane sugar. There, it's good. The licorice is in there. About half a level teaspoon that I had poured from my hand into there. Okay. Nine minutes. Anyways. <clears throat> it's 11.58. 
going for 12 noon on March 14th, 2022. Uh, let's see Yeah, vitamin B6 is quite of a um, powerful supplement. It just can breathe it in the air and it helps. It's good. But they do make, I believe, um, citrus sprays that are of naturally derived um, and that probably behave in the same way to help reduce nausea and stuff like that. But that's all I did was put a glass of um, citrus pressed juiced uh, mandarin oranges in a glass, about three of them, just in case she wanted to eventually drink it that day. She never had at that time, but without any sugar added, I just left it on the, the, her desk, maybe about six feet away from where she was resting her head on her bed. And she ended up... It, it almost instantly, you know, kept things um, stable where her nausea just vanished almost instantaneously, basically. It's happened more than once, so it, I know it's a good thing. To, it's like a first aid approach to uh, reducing um, something like that, you know without without it getting worse without it you know and then then going having to make an appointment somewhere you know what i mean they can do that later on you know but instead of having an emergency it reduces um it, in determining of whether or not if it does if it if it persisted then obviously i'd be like mom you better you better go get something checked out because Usually the mandarin orange is, you know, the juice just by you inhaling, it usually helps. I would just say usually you, you would, the nausea would have went away by you smelling the mandarin oranges. So if it's, but this was a while ago. This, uh, it's worked many times though.